Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss about the carpels. Each carpel is equivalent to megasporophyll. All carpels in a flower are collectively termed as gynaecium. A flower may have one or more carpels. Carpel represents the female reproductive part of flower. There is a term pistil. Now what is pistil? Free occurring part of gynaecium is pistil and a pistil may be having or it may have one or more carpels. Another term to be discussed is pistilode. Pistilode is sterile or undeveloped pistil. Now, a typical carpal consists of three regions. First one is stigma, second is style and third one is ovary which is having ovules. So these three structures constitute one carpal. Stigma is meant for receiving the pollen rings. A style is connecting the stigma and ovary and ovary is having the ovules. Ovary represents the basal swollen part of carpal. It possesses ovules as oval outgrowths. So ovules are oval outgrowths. Now the types of ovaries on the basis of number of locules in them. It can be classified into few types like unilocular if one locule is there, bilocular if two locules are there, if three locules in the ovary it is trilocular it divided into four compartments or locules it is tetralocular in the same way pentalocular and even it may be multilocular more than five the examples include p in unilocular mustard in bilocular asparagus in trilocular osimum in tetralocular china rose in pentalocular and althea and lady's finger in 
multilocular. Now, the types of gynesium on the basis of number of carpels these are termed as monocarpillary if number of carpels is 1 if number of carpels is 2 then bicarpillary if it is 3 then tricarpillary kinesium and if these are many then polycarpillary gynesium if the carpels in ovary are free then this condition is known as apocarpus condition and the ovary is termed as apocarpus ovary and if these are fused with each other then condition is known as syncarpus ovary and an ovary can be described by combining these two conditions for example an ovary can be described as polycarpillary apocarpus so this is found in rose lotus and ranunculus if an ovary is bicarpillary syncarpus it means that it is having two carpels which are fused the examples are mustard and petunia these ovary can be tricarpillary syncarpus this condition is observed in asphodelus and it may be polycarpillary syncarpus this condition is observed in althea So these are the various terminologies regarding the carpels. Thanks for watching this video.